Star 291 here yet again, and this time with a new LP. This is going to be continuing the Jack and Daxter trilogy. I did the first game blind, Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. I did that one blind. This will be Jack 2, or Jack and Daxter 2, or Jack 2 Renegade, or whatever you want to call it. Doesn't matter. And, uh, this is not going to be a blind LP, but there are certain things I don't know about this game. Which I'll talk about when I get to it. But, uh, this game, uh, it, it'll be, uh, how do I say this? Um, this is the HD version, the PS3 HD version, and, well, well, let's just get started with this, shall we? Now, Jack 2 is considered one of the hardest games on the PS2. Or to ever exist on the PS2. And I completely agree. This game is really hard. Especially for how, a how much of a platformer and different kind of game it is. It's kind of a variety of things. Now, you remember the first game being collect-a-thon and stuff? Well, uh, I'll explain more into this when we get to it, when we get into further into the game, but despite this game being hard as hell, this game is super fun and it's a part of my heart, to be honest. It's in definitely my top ten favorite games of all time, no doubt about it. I've been... Very into this game. A lot. And, I mean, I will practice this game a bit off-screen on another file I have here, but... This will be my Let's Play file, so I hope I at least do, you know, decent. I hope! I mean, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I will do my best to explain everything I can. I'm not great at this game. I'm gonna admit it now. I'm not great at this game. But I do know little... Certain things I like to do, but we'll talk about it when we get to it. Let's get started with this. Also, there are subtitles. For every age, there is a time of trial. The rocks faced such a fire before they were the strength beneath our feet. The plants braved vast winds before their roots could give us life. As a sage of considerable years, I have known only one such great ordeal. Yet the hero it created was a champion for all time. Today's the big day, Jack. I hope you are prepared for whatever happens. I think I figured out most of this machine. It interacts somehow with that large precursor ring. I just hope we didn't break anything moving it here to the lab. Easy for you to say. We did all the heavy lifting. Daxter, don't touch anything! Though the precursors vanished long ago, the artifacts they left behind can still do great harm. Or great good, if you figure out how to use them. I've had some experience with such things. I know you can make it work. Looks like Jack still got the mojo. Interesting. It appears to be reading out some preset coordinates.
Okay. I swear, that's the last time I ever, ever touch any stupid precursor crap! There he is. Move in. Step away from the animal. Forget the rat. The Baron wants him. We've been waiting for you. Don't worry, Jack. I'll save you before you know it. Dark eco injection cycle complete. Bio readings nominal and unchanged. <laughs> Nothing. I was informed that this one might be different. He is surprisingly resistant to your experiments, Baron Praxis. I fear the Dark Warrior program has failed. Uh, you should at least be dead with all the Dark Eco I've pumped into you. What now? Metalhead armies are pressing their attacks. Without a new weapon, my men cannot hold them off forever. I will not be remembered as the man who lost this city to those vile creatures! Move forward with the final plan! Finish off this thing tonight. As you wish. I'll be back later. Ding ding! Third floor! Body chains, roach food, torture devices! Hey buddy, you seen any heroes around here? Whoa! What'd they do to you? Jack, it's me! Daxter! That's a fine hello! I've been crawling around in this place, risking my tail, literally, to save you! I've been looking for you for two years! Say something! Just this once! I'm gonna kill Praxis! Shh! Right now, we gotta get you out of here. Just let me figure out how to open the security locks for your chair so I can... Or, uh, you can do it. Jack, easy now. Easy, buddy. It's, it's your old pal Daxter, remember? Daxter? What the? Jeez! Remind me not to piss you off. Come on, tall, dark, and gruesome. We're out of here. I uh, brought you some new threads. Put them on. What the hell did I just watch? Uh, anyway, uh, uh, yeah, we all know about this screen thing right here that saves everything, and also, okay, so I am playing this on the, on the HD version on the PS3, you can tell right here. Um, but anyway, as you can tell, this game looks different than in the first game. For one thing, Jack looks way different. Yes, this is the same Jack from the first game. Same dude. Except, uh... He went through a huge change. He can talk now? How does that work? Do you remember how to jump? I don't know how that works. These precursor orbs are worth a lot now. We might find a few hidden around, or get some doing difficult tasks. We'll be able to buy stuff with them. Also, I just realized I forgot to turn off the freaking vibration again. Gay Angel Star, stop forgetting to turn off the vibrations. I just don't like them. They bug shit. They bug the shit out of me, okay? Sorry. But anyway, there's a reason I wanted to put this, uh... As a separate file. Please tell me you remember how to roll. The controls are the same. Prison escape in progress. Just like in the first game. Just like in the first game, they are the same controls. You jump with the X button. You can double jump and everything. The only difference here is that Jack really doesn't have these grunting noises like in the first game. It's just sound effects kind of now. So it's different, I guess. You know, it's there. Um... Ooh, that's a high ledge. Try jumping once, then jump again while in the air to reach that one. But yeah, apparently Jack can talk. There are lots of crimson blood crates lying around for the taking. Break that crate. What we just grabbed there was Dark Eco and a health pack. The health packs are kind of like Green Eco in the first game, except, you know, they're health packs. And there are not many in this game. Also, for an intro stage, this is actually kind of tricky. There are a lot of, you can die. If you duck before you jump, you'll go higher. You'll need a high jump to reach the top of this ledge, Jack. Like what I just did there, I could have died when I did that, but I didn't. Also, I like fighting in this game. Unlike in the first game where I kind of found it kind of clunky, this game's actually kind of fun to fight around. It really is. I like to fight around. There's nothing down there. I already checked. 
There, as you're noticing, I'm looking at a precursor orb right here. Seriously, these precursor orbs, ugh. They're in the worst of places in this game. They are ridiculous. Also, it's the triangle button, I'm tapping it right now, and it does nothing. But, when you tap the uh, on the, cent the center of the right analog stick, you can go into first person view and look at stuff. It's a good way to... F good job! The crate had a health pack inside. Pick it up. You'll want to keep healthy, Jack, or uh, who'll do the fighting? Yeah, so be sure to pick up health packs, because if you don't, you're kind of on a bad side. I always look around everywhere, so I'm kind of a... Uh, I have a bit of a thing going on with trying to look everywhere for shit. Now, I'm not going to lie. I don't know where everything is here, so I'm probably going to miss out on a lot of shit, which I will probably. You can get hit, so watch out. <laughs> don't do what I just did, like act like a dumbass. Anyway. Fake out! Woo! Ha! There was a precursor orb down here. I knew that, so that's why I fell down. Don't worry, I knew it. I wasn't being stupid. Just climb back up and do the long jump. Like, or roll jump, whatever. And that's it. And don't don't fall here. This is a bottomless pit, so watch out for that one. Apparently these guys can't shoot for crap. You can get hit though, actually. I have gotten hit doing this while looking for shit, so watch out. Do watch out. If you jump and dive, you'll crash down to the ground hard enough to break lots of things. Breaking stuff's fun, right? Yeah, you can do that again. Also, I... Was there a precursor orb around here? I think there was. Yeah, there was one right here. I knew that. Um, I'm probably going to miss out quite a few of them here. I'm not going to lie. I don't know where all of them are here in this intro stage. Anyway, for this intro stage, it's actually pretty tricky. You can fall like what I just did right now. <laughs> I bump into a wall because I can't aim for crap. Aren't I a genius? <laughs> that was funny, though. <laughs> See, you can die on the intro stage, so watch out for that. That was just a great way to start fall dying on the intro stage. But no, seriously, this intro stage is pretty tricky. I was just being stupid and did not aim because I do that a lot. <laughs> you can just do this. I was just being silly. I like to be silly. I do that shit. But I have practiced this game quite a bit, so I do know a little bit about the game. I just kind of had to stoop and fell. Anyway, there are actually two precursor orbs in this one room. Uh, one of them is, well, I'm looking at it right now. It's right up there. And one's hidden, which I will show you. I'm not going to find every single one of these, because doing certain weird tasks get you these uh, precursor orbs. But there are w many ways to get precursor orbs, and they're kind of weird to get. So, this does have the same checkpoint system, but oh gosh! This game's checkpoint system is atrocious! And I mean utterly atrocious! Ugh! Like, ugh. You'll see when, I, when, I, when we get more into the further into the game. We're free, Jack! Thanks to me! Nice to breathe some fresh air, huh? We'll get that Baron Praxis guy, alright? Anyway, we escaped, and as you're noticing, there's a little tiny map right there. As you're looking at it, right there, on the bottom right corner. It looks like a map, because it is a map. Thank you, game, for bringing something the first game did not have. Anyway, go over here. Hello, strangers. My name is Core. May I help? You look like a reasonably smart man. I want information. Where the hell am I? Eh, uh, sorry. He's new to the whole conversation thing. Well, my angry young friend, you are a guest of His Majesty, Baron Praxis, the ruler of glorious Avon City. I was just a guest in the good Baron's prison. Inside a cell or inside the city, walls surround us both. We are all his prisoners. Talk about being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I I'd move on if I were you. By order of his eminence, the Grand Protector of Haven City, Baron Praxis, everyone in this section is hereby under arrest for suspicion of harboring underground fugitives. Surrender and die! Uh, excuse me, sir. Don't you mean surrender or die? Not in this city. Protect us from these guards, and I'll introduce you to someone who can help you. Anyway, all you gotta do is fight these guys, and what I like to do is just goof around doing the same thing I like to do. And then this happens automatically. 
This here is dark jack. What I like to do this first part is just spam the square button like and say. That's what I do the whole time. Just spam and circle. Spam, square, circle. Spam, square, circle. That's what I'm doing right here. It's just spam, square, circle. It's easy and that's all you gotta do. That was cool. Do it again. Something's happening to me. Something he did. I can't control it. Very impressive. Uh, you okay, Jack? What you just did was very brave. This child is important. This kid? He looks kind of scruffy. You are in a restricted zone. Move along. Thank you for your help, but I must get this boy to safety. Hey! What about us? There is an underground group waging war against Baron Praxis. Its leader, the Shadow, could use fighters like you. Go to the slums. Find a dead-end alley near the city wall. Ask for Torn. He can help you. Alright, now, as you're noticing on the screen, on the little map right there, there's a little sword that appears. Well, that's the icon where it shows... The city map is displayed in the lower right. Follow the icons on the map to reach important destinations. Ugh. Okay, this is the reason why I wanted to do a whole, this whole thing in a totally different file. And it's because of how crazy this game is with the, how the name, seriously. This game is rated T, not E. Also, stealing vehicle, the triangle button does work to steal a vehicle. And I'm gonna do that a lot. I'm gonna be an evil bastard in this game. This game is very related to GTA or Grand Theft Auto where you can steal vehicles like a boss bitch. Woo! And there are two types of vehicles, maybe three, I'm not sure. But the ones that I know of is this one that I'm driving in, which turns really good and really slow. I'm gonna use these kind most of the time because they're the easiest to control and I like to use them. Also, you can run over people. Watch out when you run over the Crimson Guards though. They kinda, if you do that, they're gonna go right off your ass. So watch out. And I'm gonna explode shit because I like to. Ha! We're looking for a guy named Torn. Core sent us. Um, are you Torn? Maybe this guy's a new, like you used to be. Ha! Your faces make me nervous. Word is you're out to join the fight for this city. You know, picking the wrong side could be unhealthy. We want to see the shadow. <laughs> Not likely. If you want to join something, why don't you and your pet go join the circus? <laughs> Unless you've got the fur for a really tough task. Steal the Baron's banner from the top of the ruined tower and bring it back to me. Then, maybe we'll talk. Okay, um, hold on a moment, guys. Well, um, that happened. A lot of shit just happened. But anyway, yes, uh, what we have to do here is he wants us to go to Dead Town and get the banner off the wall. And, uh... Yes! As you can tell, this game is not a collect-a-thon. Don't steal that vehicle! If you do, you gotta have, you're gonna have Crimson Guards on your ass. Go find another vehicle. Yes, I'm gonna be playing GTA because I do that shit. Give me your vehicle, bitch! Because I want to. Yes, this game is very related to GTA, and this is coming from someone who's not really a fan of GTA, and I love this game. I love stealing vehicles and just being a total delinquent about it. I just love it. I don't know why. It's just fun. Sometimes I act very cynical in this game, too. Or sometimes I imagine people... Yeah, I'm not going to talk about that. I sometimes act like a pretty gothy emo bitch about this, but... Uh, I really like to just be an evil bastard. I really do. It's fun to just... Uh, just to let things all out and just, ugh. But yes, as you can tell, this game is very mission-based. And here we have the first mission of the game. And that is to get the banner of the flag from Dead Town. This mission is actually, if you're doing this first time, this mission is a little bit tricky. But if you know what you're doing, yeah, this mission is probably one of the easiest ones. But if you're doing this the first time, you're gonna get lost. But anyway, uh, collect Dark Eco. When you don't have enough in the bar down there, as you're noticing on the top, on the bottom left corner, every time it appears, 
Well, you'll turn to Dark Jack once it reaches full, or you can turn into Dark Jack. I'll explain it in further detail later when I do get the bar full. Anyways, you're noticing this is the whole map. It's saying where you have to go and where to and what you have to do. The green light that shows right there is the indicated site where you have to be, or where you have to go. And uh, now this game is still very platform heavy. Just saying, and count combat is a lot better in this game. I really do think the combat is a million times better in this game. No worries, I do know what I'm doing here. All you have to do is just pretty much go up, pretty much, in this part, really. If, you, if you're going up, you should be fine. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna die a lot in this game. And I mean, I'm gonna die a lot. Like, I just died in the intro stage like an idiot. Because I just thought it'd be funny. And plus, I'm I'm gonna not I'm never I'm not gonna lie. I've never done this while talking before, so I might end up doing some kind of stupid thing where I end up falling to my death because of my own distractions. But I will do my best, though. I promise, I will do my best. Also, there are precursor orbs here, but they're very few, actually. I think I only found like five, maybe. But you can't really get them yet until a certain point, which I will explain when we get to it. Um, but even though this game is hard as heck. Seriously, there are. This is very mission based. And that's how you progress the story. No collect a thon or anything. Thank goodness. This is why. This is a very positive aspect for me. I really like that you can just collect shit and you don't have to collect shit. It's very optional. The only thing pre the precursor orbs do is just unlock shit. That's the only thing it does. Anyway, watch out for this. This is the tricky part right here for the first part of the stage. And that is, uh. These bra breaking platforms. Watch out. They do fall. So be careful, keep on jumping and just pay attention and really this one's not really that bad. To be honest, I find it kind of easy, just me personally. I don't find it really that bad, just pay attention and you really will do just fine, to be honest. To be honest, because you, you do have to jump off these pretty fast, so watch out for that. But other than that, these aren't. This is a pretty easy one, really. I never had trouble with it. And there's the banner. guys are in. Ha, <laughs> dead and gone. Like that a lot. Anyway, as you're noticing, there's a lot of him getting hit in the groin. There wasn't that in this game. Although I didn't really explain this, but this water, don't touch it. It does take, it's toxic water. You will get damaged, so watch out. Don't touch that water. Just letting you know, don't fall into the water, because you will get damaged. You will get, uh, most of the enemies will actually, well, I'll explain when I get hit, actually. But most of the enemies will actually take two damage instead of one, but you could. Some enemies, a few of them actually, do only get take. Sometimes Jack will, um, no, a Daxter will nag you to go back to the city if you keep on running around getting lost and stuff. Sometimes you could just look at the map and just go from there. I knew what I was doing, I was just looking around to see what I find. You're gonna see me do that a lot in this game, I'm gonna look around a lot, just seeing. Also, I'm gonna do this a lot. I don't know why, I just like that. Just looks cool to me. <laughs> me personally. And just like in the first game, I'm gonna probably make this uh, let's play each part about 30 to 50 minutes because I like this game. I really do. Maybe I'll make it a little shorter every now and then, but I really like the, this game and I really would like to make it as long as I can. And yes, I'm gonna run over people. Now all we can do is just go back to Torn, so let's go do this shit. And, uh, I'm not gonna lie, this is very mission-based, so... Every time you- there are gonna be certain bases where you have to go to to get to the- to get to the next area. Some missions are not that bad, but some drive me absolutely bonkers, which- And one just makes me want to rage quit, which we'll talk about later. And no, it, and we'll see when we get to it. Woo! Being a big hero! Sure makes you thirsty. The Baron turned off all water to the slums. 
He's willing to sacrifice innocent lives just to destroy the Underground. I shouldn't be surprised. I've seen his evil before, while serving in the Crimson Guard. That's why I quit. You were a Crimson Guard? <laughs> well, that explains your charming sense of humor. My friend in the Guard tells me the valve to turn the water back on is located outside the city, at the pumping station. Outside the city? What about the security walls? What about the metalheads? There ain't no petting zoo out there. Peeps be getting deep sixed. Find a what? A drain pipe in the north wall. It'll take you outside the city to the pumping station. Get to the main valve and open it. If you survive, the slums will be indebted to you. If not, maybe we'll have a touching moment of silence in your honor. I'd like to give him a touching moment. Ha! Sex joke for the win. You're gonna see a lot of that there. There's gonna be a lot of sex jokes in this game and stripper jokes, which we'll get to it when we get to it. You'll find also sometimes there are vehicles abandoned in certain places that you can just take. And hey, I like that. We like a stealing vehicles. So anyway, the next mission is just to, you know, uh, open the valve to the to the water the water to the slums, right? This mission is not bad either, really. It's probably easier than the first one. <laughs> to be honest, I find it easier than the first one anyway. Just me. Now getting there, you have to cross through the city. Just keep on following the map. Ugh. Also, your ship can go on fire. When it goes on fire, switch to another ship so that you don't blow up. Because yes, the ships can blow up. Just letting you know that. So sometimes people can't drive and you crash into them and it's just fun. Although there are a lot of explosions in this game. <laughs> Although I find them really funny, but we'll talk about that when we get to them. Anyway, uh, anyway, uh, to, to raise levels, press the R, uh, press the R2 button, so, I would recommend it here, because if you don't, well, you're gonna crash into vehicles and shit, and that ain't fun. Anyway, I'm, I love, I'm gonna do this a lot. Whoa, I'm just crashing cars into a wall, aren't I a genius? Anyway, this is the pumping station right here, all we gotta do is get to the valve. So you just look at the map and it'll show you a green dot where you have to go. And to be honest, I know where it is. It's actually pretty simple, to be honest. It's not difficult. Yeah, those are metal heads. Anyway, these are skull gems. These things that you see here are skull gems. Collect them because they are important. <laughs> uh, these are, but you get them from destroying metal heads. Not all of them for some reason. I mean, I've fought quite a few of them and I noticed that some actually don't drop them. It's kind of weird. <laughs> it really is kind of weird. Oh, also, there are precursor orbs here. There's one that's really stupidly hidden over here. I'm glad I didn't forget that. And then there's another one over here. There oh, right. I forgot about this one over here. There's another one right over here. I, for I forgot about it, actually. Also, don't go too deep. You can swim. Don't go too deep in, because if no, the kind of the same thing what happens with the fish in the first game, except you get shot by a security thing. Yep. Totally seems legit. So yeah, don't don't do that. Here's another precursor ore that's just weirdly located. Get it. I'm gonna try to see if I can reach up there without having to Oh good. I don't wanna have to like climb up again. That'd be dumb. There are plenty of enemies here, so yeah. These aren't uh, metal heads, so that's why they don't drop skull gems. You only get them by destroying metal heads. That's all. And metal heads are creatures that kind of look like, well, kind of look like aliens, kinda. I mean, that's what I think. They kind of look like aliens. They like unlike little lizards, which are those green things. But I'm not sure how to explain it. They just look weird compared to the regular creatures you see in these kind of series. Let's just say that much. But yeah, just destroy everything. I just just destroy everything. Who cares what other people think? Just destroy shit, cause it's fun. Anyway. You see that the face in the bottom left corner right there changed. That means you can turn into Dark Jack. 
To turn into Dark Dark Jack, you can only do it when the gauge is full or when that face appears, pretty much. And you can only do it by pressing the L2 button. Um, now I'm gonna be honest here. See that? See, you, they only do did uh, one damage. Some enemies do that. It's mostly in the beginning of the game. But after that, uh, oh, they they do get stronger actually later in the game. But uh, Dark Jack, to be honest, I don't use them that much in this game. I really don't. I only use them like in certain situations. I do have certain plot situations I do use them in, just me personally, um, but we'll get to them when we get to them, alright? But to be honest, the pumping station, it's okay, I mean, it's not bad, I mean, just don't fall into the water too much, because you can die if you fall into the water where they can actually shoot you, and it's not very fun, and yeah, just be careful, that's all. The health packs restore one, two bars, so you don't have anything to worry about. It should, it should heal you one full damage from enemies, so I guess that's kind of forgiven, I guess. Forgiven? I mean, forgiving. I, I can't speak today, apparently! Uh. But I like to just uh, do this certain silly combo thing I like to do. It's just fun. Just me. Can't do anything up there. I think you could go down there. You can. I tried. I think there was a precursor orb down here somewhere. You can fall here. You're fine, actually. But I'm not sure where, actually. I could never find it. I'll probably look it up or something. Doesn't really matter. This isn't really a blind LP, so I don't care, really. Um, there's a lot of things you can find here. There are precursor orbs here. I just don't remember where. Don't go too far away into the water, like, where there's nothing, because... Oh yeah, you're gonna die from a certain stupid laser. That will come and get you, and you don't want that. That ain't fun to deal with. Just saying. <laughs> but I do enjoy this game for what it is. It's a fun little piece of art. Seriously, this game is a piece of art. I really love it. And despite this game being very hard, it is very, very enjoyable, and I love it. We're here. Ah, the valve. Hello, me. <laughs> even chuckle. Next time, you turn the valve. That whole scene made me laugh, but I didn't want to say it until now. <laughs> uh, anyway, it leads you all the way down here to the beginning, so you kind of don't have to do anything. You just have to go back to the city. Pretty simple. Oh, oh wait, I was going the right way. It is, I'm not going to lie. When it's nighttime here, it does get a little bit hard to see. I'm not going to lie. At times... Anyway, funny story, you can, even though, uh, it does say to go, there's a certain little thing you have to go to, but they always leave a vehicle, like, every time you return to the city, so, they always leave an abandoned vehicle somewhere, so, hey, uh, find the nearest one and take it. Anyway, I'm gonna go over here, because it's telling me to go over here, it's this tent, and I'm gonna do what I like to do! Crash! Ha! Greetings, great warrior. I sense there is a dark rage burning within you, and in time, it will destroy you with its madness. Only the last power of the precursors can save you. Destroy my enemies, those creatures you call the Metalheads. Bring me 25 of their skull gems, and I will teach you how to control these powers. I'm not gonna summon it, because I don't want to waste anything. And, uh, yeah. It already tells you to summon, and since I blew up my ship, ha, I'm gonna steal one. And it. Oh, shit! Shit on a shit stick. Don't steal those ships, ever! Okay, the first part, I stole a, I stole a stupid ship. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Like, really bad. Oh, shit. 
I did not mean to steal that. Uh, they're after my ass now. You could probably run away and not worry about it, but holy shit, that's scary shit. Uh, you're probably safe while you're under here, I think. I'm not sure, but holy shit. Uh, I did not mean to do any of that. Oh, gosh. Uh, that scared me. Just you can just stay low until until things blow over. But ho holy shit! Don't worry, nothing will come towards you here. But holy shit! Ah, uh, that scared me. That scared me. Holy shit! I did not mean to do that. I am so sorry. Uh, I'm just gonna take this one because it's a vehicle we haven't used. Now I'm low on health. Whoa! Uh, now I'm really low on health. That was really, really bad. I am so sorry if you all had to see that. It probably was very embarrassing, and I do sincerely apologize. Uh, it was embarrassing for me, too. Just... <laughs> uh. But anyway... Uh, let's go ahead to Torn again. Anyway, this ship here, I haven't really talked about this ship. I don't like, and now it's on fire. Shit. Uh, I'm kind of like scared because I don't like to get off the vehicle like this. Uh, because uh, well, I'm again, I'm low on health. But if I get hit, then I'm kind of on a screwed side because I'd get, I'd die anyway because every explosion it counts as two damage. But seriously, don't go on this. Don't, don't stay on the ship when it's on fire like this don't because you can get hit and blown up really easily i'm just gonna see if i can make it without getting hit why not give myself a bit of a challenge i'm sure i can make it did i make it while blowing up the shit let's blow it up oh i didn't blow it up i was hoping i could blow it up i'm such a bitch like that <laughs> uh, okay let's see what thorn wants now The slum's water is back on. I'd love to see the heads roll when the Baron finds out. Yeah, I'm sure he's losing lots of sleep over this armpit of the city. We've done what you've asked. Now when do we see the shadow? Damn. If I say so, if I say so. But before I even think about it, I want you to take care of an ammo dump we've ID'd in the fortress. Lots of crimson guards, constant patrols. We know it's vulnerable, and the Underground needs you to blow up all the ammo you find inside. Get all of it, and we'll deal a body blow to the Baron. You're sending us in, tough guy! So what's with this, we'll deal a body blow stuff? That's fine. I want the Baron to know that it's me who's hurting him. Okay, I know it's been over 40 minutes now or something like that, but you know what, I'm gonna do this mission, cause what the hell. Let's get it out of the way. Also, because, ugh. Okay, so we have to take care of a certain ammo dump here in, uh... Eh, it's very close here, so no worries. And to be honest, I know people who hate this mission, and... To be honest, I think this is my least favorite mission in Act 1. They actually divide this game in acts, and I do think this is one of my least favorite missions in the game, I'm not gonna lie. But I don't hate it as much as I... Unauthorized use and it's because of this part right here. Security. This is why people hate this mission. It's because of this thing right here. This tank. This freaking tank. Holy shit. This thing will come and get you and it's not fun. Like that. That thing will shoot you. Whoa. <laughs> I dodged that like a boss. Oh, I'm gonna try to see if I can dodge. No, nope, I didn't make it. I was low on health anyway, so that was probably gonna happen. And yeah, this mission, uh, Unauthorized use this first part right here is what pisses people off. It pissed me off too, I'm not gonna lie. When I first did this, I rage quit it, I really did. I know one person who rage quit it quite a bit here when playing this. Just, what I, what I suggest doing is, like, maybe trying to find a way to try to dodge it. But also, you'll see these red lasers. They're really hard to see here. But there's these red lasers that are, like, blocking the way. 
Whoa! Shit, I was close. Uh, I, I panicked and I was trying. I should have draw. I should have long jumped, but I didn't. Unauthorized use of fortress door. This this mission does suck. I'm not gonna lie, it really does. And when I did this on the HD version the first time, I died a lot. Holy shit! Like I died a lot, like ten times. Whoa! I thought that thing was gonna hit me. I don't like this mission. I really don't. And hey, I'm anyone who's and you gotta pay attention. Do the red lasers and try to dodge that stupid freaking uh. Uh, tank, and it's not very fun. <laughs> Just saying. Like, it'll hit you even when you're over here, so. Ugh, okay, I made it. That wasn't so bad. Okay, but I don't, I don't like this mission. This mission sucks, but that's the way to dodge it. Like, sometimes, sometimes when it aims, it'll kind of go to where you're controlling at. I noticed this while playing. Don't fall! If you fall, I think you're screwed. At least I think so. I'm. Oh, ow. Don't fall. I got shot again. Destroy these things. Destroy these electrical things here. Just saying, do it. Get health if you ever do. Just get it and don't fall. For any reason whatsoever, don't fall. Because I think you are screwed if you fall. I might be wrong about that. Because every time I fell, I didn't know how to get back up. Just saying. At least I might. Like I said, I might be wrong about that. Anyway, this kind of is tricky platforming right here. It's it's not the easier part though, but it is kind of tricky. This for a third mission, this is actually pretty tough. Just saying, for a third mission, this is pretty tough. But but I like this. It's it's okay. I don't. I mean, I don't like it, but I don't hate it. I mean, I don't really hate it all that much, to be honest. I think I've seen a lot worse than this. To be honest, I think they're having worse. There are crimson cards everywhere, so watch out for that. I don't recommend Dark Jack here. I don't recommend it at all. Just saying. Don't. Uh, also, I looked around here for precursor orbs. I can never find them. So, if you guys can tell me if I missed some, you guys can let me know. I'll probably look around here again later, but I'm not sure. Again, uh, you can always fight these crimson guards. I still like to do the way I like to do it. These things can't, these guys can't shock you, so watch out for that. Um, I even looked around here and I couldn't find any precursor orbs, to be honest. I looked everywhere and here and I could never find it. So, someone can tell me if there are any precursor orbs, do let me know. But yeah, no, if you're doing this mission the first time, you are gonna rage quit. This mission sucks, even for a first one. But when you know what you're doing, you, well, you might die, but you might not. I don't know. It kind of just depends. It really just depends on how you play the game, to be honest. And the, how the uh, how the tank aims is as long as you're kind of like aiming or going in the direction you are, it'll follow you to where you're going. That's what it does. At least that's what I found out. Also, I think there's a pit here. I'm not sure. Uh, it's weird. This one, this mission's really weird. Cool, that's a security pass. We need those to get through city checkpoints. Shh. These barrels are the latest shipment of Eco. The Baron says take them and get out. Metalheads in the city? Why are the guards giving them eco? I got a better question. Why would they leave a pass just lying there? <laughs> just saying, it just seems logical. Anyway, the, since I'm playing the HD version, you, these explosions are kind of like blocking the way. Anyway, a good strategy is to start from, to try to get the tank to shoot these ones from behind first. Try to get it to shoot from here behind. It's a lot better, just me personally, because if it shoots from the front, it might be a bad thing. And yes, it's easy to get hit. It really is. Oh, I died because I was in the wrong direction. These things... This tank can hit you pretty easily, so that's annoying. I'm not gonna lie, that is kind of annoying. <laughs> but to be honest, I f and plus with the explosions having like a big, a big a range, it's kind of weird. 
But yeah, watch out for when this thing, because if it shoots those rockets, it can hit you too. So watch out for that. Um, come on, shoot me. I'm waiting. Good. I gotta wait for this one to shoot. I'll take the hit. I don't care. <laughs> anyway. I barely made that. Holy shit. <laughs> it's gonna kept on getting stuck in that stupid tank. Kept on getting in my way. Also, slow motion. This place has too much excitement. We need to move back to the country. Ha ha ha. That was funny. <laughs> uh, but anyway. That's about it. I'm gonna end. Uh, but yeah, no. This mission, it, it sucks. It really does. But when you know what to do, it's not the... God damn! <laughs> <laughs> I swear, this is the reason, this is another reason I want to do the HD version, it's because uh, the PS3 achievements are the most hilarious thing in Jack 2. <laughs> They're so funny. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we'll get to them when we, we'll, you'll, we'll see it later in this game. But anyway, I'm gonna end things off here, so uh, next time in Let's Play Jack 2, we'll be checking out and seeing what Thorn wants. So this has been Angel Star 291 saying goodbye and see you guys in part two.